So a lot of you have probably heard of uh, the terms gray matter and white matter. And what this basically is, is when you look at the MRI image, you see that some areas appear white and some appear gray. And that's basically where the terminology comes from. The white matters are the information highways. It's connecting all the different brain regions. And the gray matter is your brain regions such as hippocampus and uh, prefrontal cortex and so on. And basically, in neuroscience, what we can do is um, just extract the white matter. And what this would look like is an image like this. This image is color-coded. So red in the x-axis, which is the sagittal plane, blue in the z-axis, which is the axial plane, and green in the y-axis, which is in the coronal plane. And this image is pretty fascinating. What you can do over here is you can um, extract different white matter pathways. So with this bundle box that I've got here, I can actually select what white matter is coming from which region. So at the moment, I'm selecting just part of the prefrontal cortex in the right hemisphere. And as you can see, all the white matter pathways traveling just from that region. And what I'm going to do here is show you different angles of what we're working with. If I select a smaller region, as you can see there's a lot of fibers from the frontal lobe connecting to the brainstem and more to the parietal cortex as well. If I move this uh, bundle box around, you'll find that we're moving through the brain. So you can see everything is actually being connected down to the brain stem as well. And the highest density of connection actually comes from the brain stem. So if I move the bundle box down here, from those subcortical regions, that is connecting to the rest of the brain. And so basically what is happening is your subcortical regions are things that you're unconscious of. Things like all your physiology, your breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, thermoregulation, digestion, immune system and so on. And what you're conscious of is basically a small part up here. That's your conscious brain. That's the only areas that is accessible to you when you're thinking about something whether it be emotion memory anticipating the future and so on and so a lot of times we are trying to fix our mental um, mindsets and so on and all we're working is with those limited connections up here however if we work from down here we can actually reboot the whole brain from working from all those baseline structures and so you can start to get a picture of how when we're working from a parasympathetic state when all of our body functions are working synergistically basically when we're in a parasympathetic state we are able to work more in synergy with our brain and body so all the neural networks whether it be emotion memory attention uh, cognition all sorts of neural networks sensory motor control are working synergistically in a way of cooperation rather than working against each other when you start working from a cognitive perspective. So that's basically what we term neurovascular integration. Thank you.